a song to you, O Lord, a song of love and praise. Honor it be to you, O Lord, through everlasting days. Shine your light on us, Lord, let us know your way. Guide forever, make us yours today. I sing a song to you, O Lord, a song of love and praise. All glory be to you, O Lord, through everlasting. My dear friends, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist of Love. Today we shall pray for people who are suffering due to COVID-19. We ask our dear Lord to heal them, bless them. We also pray for those who are having minor symptoms of illnesses, that the Lord may heal them at this stage. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures. Let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy. For those times that we have caused hurt feelings and injuries, to our own. Lord, have mercy on us and forgive us. Let us confess together. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my in thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my, my faults. To my, my faults, to my, my most grievous faults. And therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Angela Merici, Virgin. May the Virgin Saint Angela never fail to commend us to your compassion, O Lord, we pray that following the lessons of her charity and prudence, we may hold fast to your teaching and express it in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. Chapter 7, verses 18 to 19, 24 to 29. After Nathan had spoken to him, King David went in and seated before the Lord, said, Who am I, O Lord, and what is my house, that you have led me as far as this? Yet, in your sight, O Lord, this is still not far enough, and you make your promises extend to the house of your servant for a far distant future. You have constituted your people, Israel, to be your own people forever, and you, Lord, have become their God. Now, O Lord, always keep the promise 
you have made to your servant and his house and do as you have said your name will be exalted forever and men will say the lord of hosts is god over israel the house of your servant david will be made secure in your presence since you yourself lord of host god of israel have made this revelation to your servant i will build you a house hence your servant has ventured to offer this prayer to you yes lord you are god indeed your words are true and you have made this fair promise to your servant be pleased then to bless the house of your servant that it may continue forever in your presence for you lord have spoken and with your blessing the house of your servant will be blessed forever the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm the lord god will give him the throne of his father david the lord god will give him the throne of his father david o lord remember david and all the many hardships he endured the oath he swore to the lord his vow to the strong one of jacob your response the lord god will give him the throne of his father david i will not enter the house where i live nor go to the bed where i rest i will give no sleep to my eyes to my eyelids i will give no slumber till i find a place for the lord a dwelling for the strong one of jacob your response the lord god will give him the throne of his father david The Lord swore an oath to David he will not go back on this word a son the fruit of your body will i set upon your throne your response the lord god will give him the throne of his father david if they keep my covenant in truth and my laws that i have taught them their sons also shall rule on your throne from age to age your response the lord god will give him the throne of his father david for the lord has chosen zion he has desired it for his dwelling this is my resting place forever here have i chosen to live your response the lord god will give him the throne of his father david gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia you will shine in the world like bright stars because you are offering it the word of life alleluia the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark glory to you o god Chapter four, verses twenty-one to twenty-five. Jesus said to the crowd, "Would you bring in a lamp to put it under a tub, or under the bed? Surely you will put it on the lampstand. For there is nothing hidden, but it must be disclosed." nothing kept secret except to be brought to light if anyone has ears to hear let him listen to this he also said to them take notice of what you are hearing the amount you measure out is the amount you will be given and more besides for the man who has will be given more for the man who has not even what he has 
will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, Today is the feast of Saint Angela Merici. She was born in 1470 and died in 1540. She founded the Ursuline Congregation to take care of the poor children from poor families. She educated them not only with knowledge but gave them life-sustaining values. And today there are so many congregations in the world called Ursulines. We ask our dear Lord to bless all these congregations that they may have the same spirit to educate those who are in need to get proper education. Dear brothers and sisters, no one lights a lamp and puts it under the table or under the bed. It has to be on the lamp stand or anywhere in the open on a height where everyone can see. The light eliminates and illustrates everything to be visible. If there is darkness, we cannot see things that are around. But in the light, we can factually see things that are real, that they appear. Jesus gives us an example about this. If you hold a truth with you, if you know of certain facts which will help someone in this world to live, to survive, to get justice, you must live it in it open. You must utter it at the right time and not keep it hidden with you until the situation subsides and something wrong is done to the one who is right. We experience this in our society. You know, during this time, many political leaders are changing their parties, a few at least, and they begin to speak the truth now when it is not the right time. It would have been the right time at that time for them to speak the truth if it was truth. They kept it hidden and now, which is not the right time, they are revealing it to people when people cannot judge whether their words are right or false. Let this be an example, even in our lives. If someone you know, you are a witness to truth. But because someone pays you, you begin to speak the other way around. And when the person who was in need is given injustice, later when you yourself experience certain injustice from the opposite party of, of the same person, you begin to cry, you. You begin to feel, yes, I know, I knew that was the truth. Then why did you not speak at that time? Now that it hurts you, now that you have become the cause of injustice, you are uttering it for your selfish gain. That is not the right time to speak. 
the right time to speak is when you had to do to save the person with that truth. Therefore, Jesus is saying, all that is covered will be uncovered. Everything will come in light. The truth will come in light. And the truth is Jesus himself. Everyone will be able to find their way to heaven only in the light of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way for us. He will show us by his radiance where we should go. And that is how we need to follow him. And so, my dear friends, the Lord is reminding us of this truth. That all that is given to you is given to you in order that you distribute to others in truth. He says, in the measure that you give it out, in the same measure you will receive it in. The measure that you give to others is the same measure that you will receive. Whether it is in goodness or it is in falsity. Whether it is in love or it is in hatred. We need to accept the truth that Jesus is the way. Jesus is the light. And Jesus is everything for us. Amen. Lord, accept this bread and wine. Take and make them die. Take our work and our anxiety. Give us life and liberty. Teach this prayer into your body. This wine into your blood. Change our lives, make us united, Lord, to spread the love of Christ the Lord. To spread the love of Christ the Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with loving faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took prayer and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Derek our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, a spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Angela Merici, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, 
and my soul shall be healed. Pray to Mary, our Mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual. Thank you, dear Mother, for healing us. Thank you, my Mother, for being with us. Thank you, dear Mother, for the experience that you have given to all our devotees, to all our participants. At this time, we pray for those who need your assistance. Those who need the healing touch, those who are in the hospitals, those to undergo surgeries, dear Mother, be with them. Grant total success. We pray for all the poor families, those who are suffering, struggling, both financially, not able to give proper medication, not able to have enough food, for their survival. Those who have lost their jobs, bless them with your graces and abundance. Bless all our families with your love, concern and affection, we pray. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. May you have a wonderful day, my dear friends, with your family and friends. Thank you.